Good evening, Coach. How are you doing? Uh, good. I uh, wanted to get your thoughts. Just, um, just the uh, how concerning is it just to have the the lack of consistency? You guys had a great bounce back win on Monday, and you come back and unfortunately lose the game tonight. Um, just the, the the level of consistency does that concern y'all? How much does that concern you? I mean, it's not concerning when you play the right way. Um, I thought, you know, for the most part, defensively, I thought we did a good job. You know, even though Luca um, torched us, but you know. Um, Kept everyone up pretty, pretty much in check, but outside Hardaway hitting that three at the end to give him 105. But I thought defensively we competed. I thought offensively we just didn't trust. We didn't continue to share the basketball, and we forced a lot of stuff, you know, um, all night. The ball didn't really change sides of the floor, and, um, you know, we took some bad shots at times as well. From a positive standpoint, it seemed like Paul George got back into his, his you know, regular shooting rhythm as far as the way he played tonight. Um, how encouraging is that for you to see Paul George to get back to that type of style of play? Yeah, it was good to see. You know, I thought he competed on the defensive end, you know, having to guard Luka, um, you know, all night and just, you know, taking the challenge defensively. And then, like I said, shooting the basketball, getting back to getting his stroke, getting his flow, his offensive rhythm um, was pretty good. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Thanks. Go over to Jonathan. Hey, Coach. Um, after the first quarter, they kind of kept you guys in check there the, the next three quarters. Um, but from three ball tonight, you guys shot just 28%. Did you feel you guys were getting the shots you wanted, or was that just something they were playing good defense on you guys? I thought we got the shots we wanted. You know, I thought Reggie's three shots was was open. I thought Marcus was one for nine from three, but I thought all nine of his shots were good shots, you know, that um, he usually makes. And, you know, you don't have shooting nice like that. So um, when it's when nice like that, you know, you usually – you know, your defense has to step up and hold you down. And I thought our defense did a good job. You know, outside of Luca, who you know had a great game, we knew that coming into it that, you know, he has the ball in his hands so much, he's going to score the basketball and make plays. But overall, I just thought our, you know, defensive competitiveness was there. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Go over to Law. Thanks, Ty. Uh, it, it seemed like, uh, especially tonight and uh, Monday coming off the second night of back to back, like, the minutes were were quite extreme. Like this felt like a playoff series. Uh, the last couple of games here, and we saw the the bench was short. You didn't get a whole lot of production out of out of, out of the guys who did get off the bench uh, tonight. Uh, what went into like the the rotations tonight? Uh, the flow of the game, um, and just deciding who was going to run for how long. Just the flow of the game determines that. Um, try and match, match Zoo's minutes as much as possible with Luca because he does a good job when he's on the floor. And that was about it. Go to Andrew. Ty, that, that big lineup you played in the third quarter, adding Nick to Marcus, Kawhi, PG, and Zoo, um, what kind of what, was that something you, you and the coaches have been wanting to try for a while? Kind of what led yeah. to that one? Yeah, we discussed that, you know, wanting to get to that lineup and, you know, with four switchables on the floor, and, um, you know, in Zoo or Surge in the middle. And tonight was a chance and opportunity to do it. And I thought it was good for us. Offensively, I didn't think it was good for us because we didn't really run, um, you know, the sets the right way. But that's to be, you know, that's, that's going to happen, you know, when you, when you try something for the first time. But, you know, overall, I thought defensively it was pretty good for us. We were able to switch and to do some different things. So um, it looked good to me. We just got to just fix it offensively. Thanks, Surratt. You can go ahead. Hey, Coach, I was just uh, wondering what you thought the biggest difference was in the challenge of defending Luka Doncic between today and, uh, and the other game. Um, you know, when he's making his three-point shot, you know, last game he made a couple early, um, but then he kind of went cold. You know, tonight he consistently made it, you know, shooting six for, six for 11. And, you know, he made some tough ones, just step back going to his left. Um, you know, he made that shot tonight. And he just puts a lot of pressure on you. You know, he has a great handle. You know, he's strong. So, once he gets into the paint and he gets his shoulder be, um, in front of you, it's tough to get back in front of him. So, um, he, you know, he played good tonight. You know, hats off to him. And, you know, I thought our guys fought and challenged him. He just made shots. Thanks. We'll take a couple more. Go to Farbad. Hey, Coach, there's a period of time in the third quarter where you guys are playing great defense on the Mavs and held them scoreless for about four minutes or so. But then in that third quarter, you only had, you know, four shots at the rim. We see you ultimately in the fourth quarter suddenly start going inside more and more. Was that a point of emphasis or is that just kind of the flow of the game that happened? It's always a point of emphasis for us every night just to attack the paint, you know, put pressure on the rim, put pressure on the defenses. And we talk, you know, they always come low man. 
and we got to be ready to make those passes out to the corner and the skip passes. Um, you know, but that's 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 our model to every night. You know, we got to attack the paint, get into the paint, and then make the right play. Thanks. Uh, we're going to close out with uh, Tomer. Go ahead. Hey, Ty, um, on a night where you guys sort of struggled to, to, to make threes, uh, PG gave you two of them to end the third, and then uh, you guys kind of went away from him uh, in that fourth quarter until he hit those two late in the fourth. Uh, I guess, like, is it on, on you, I guess, or on the guys to feed the hot hand like that when you guys are struggling to, to, to get offense? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, especially when you call it. But like I said, having that unit on the floor, I think, was was tough because they, they didn't run the test the right way. But, um, you know, we try to get the ball back to him and get it in his hands um, to ride the hot hand. And like I said, it was new for those guys. So um, it's just something we got to continue to keep working on. Okay, thanks.